one here. Well, where do you think the natives are? It's way too quiet to be calm. So <laughs> We've been betrayed. Oh. Says Admiral. We load your blunderbusses, man. I sure made a mess. Bogo! Come on, we're getting back on the boat. That's Magellan right there. And so you betrayed us. Oh, Toki! Help them get back, or they'll never get out. We're going back to the concept song. Why didn't you keep your helmet on, Admiral? My head is harder than a helmet. Oh, no. Captain Serrano is falling. Admiral, no. on the boats, men. We have no choice but to flee. Wait for our Admiral. <laughs> Admiral! Your time has come, Magellan. Uh, you traitor! You're gonna pay for that! Hey, they're attacking us! Gather all the weapons you can find! All hands on them! Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'll teach you! No one's breaking my ship! Uh, let's get out of here, or they'll eat us all alive! But what'll happen to the Admiral? There's nothing left to do! Let's cut our losses! Hey, don't leave us! Samar! Hang in there, Admiral! Oh, no, Admiral! You must keep this safe, Senor Uncommon. It's very important. That's Samar! should make you walk the plank. We've lost a lot of men because of you, you traitor. I did no such thing. It was all those cannibals. Oh, yeah? If Yago's a traitor, he'll walk the plank. Hold on for now. We'll lock him away until we get back home. And there we'll hand him to the authorities. Yeah. You idiots. All of you are delusional. You'll never get to the Maluku Islands. You're all morons. Without Magellan's map, all of you are lost at sea. They're lost? Then that means I'm lost with them, too. <laughs> Had I been with him, maybe I could have saved him. This is all my fault. I should have gone with you. You did everything you could for Magellan. What matters most now is that the injured get proper treatment. You're right, Paco. We have to take care of them. We need provisions. We should get to the Maluku Islands as soon as possible. I will take you there. Samar is the best sailor we have on board. Then it's settled. Today she proved it. We'll get you back home, I promise you. <clears throat> we need to get to the Maluku Islands quickly. The injured men can't wait. What are you guys waiting for? For a captain to give his men orders. Who here agrees that Elcano should be our captain? Elcano the captain! If the Admiral gave it to you, it's because he thought that you should wear it. He's the captain once again. Our fate is in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be my right-hand man. Do you think the Conception can keep sailing? Impossible. The savages made a huge hole in the ship. It's unsailable. Then I'll put myself in charge of the victory, and Captain Espinosa will take the Trinity. Attention! We're moving everything to the victory. <laughs> I hope we get to the Maluku Islands. <laughs> Boy, do I need to take a call to <laughs> This Rosemary Branch did make me into a captain after all. We had to leave behind the Conception, leaving us with only two ships from the original five which we left Sevilla with. 
The exhausted and decimated crew only wanted to get to the islands of the spices, the Maluku Islands. Get ready to set sail. Weigh the anchors. Everything's ready. Hoist the sails to the Spice Islands. <laughs> there. Oh, I'm sorry. Hard to starboard. at the Maluku Islands, the 7th of November, Anno Domini, 1521. The crew, who was used to the monotonous life at sea and weary from extreme weather and hardships, were fascinated with the surrounding greenery, the bustle of the streets, and the majestic buildings. Above all, the luxurious palace of King Almanzor. Both Almanzor and his son welcome you here. He says that a long time ago he dreamt of your arrival. He wants to know our intentions here. What possessed you to make such a long trip? Tell him that we come here in the name of the King of Spain, and we've come here to make trade. It makes him very happy to have commerce with the Spaniards. From now on, this island will be named in your honor. It is our honor as well. The port in the city of Tidore, the capital of the Maluku Islands, was a continuous come and go of people who carried rich and valuable goods transported in giant carts. Mr. Pig of Feather, there's 380 bales of cloves and 100 of cinnamon. A hundred bales of cinnamon? Did you say a hundred of them? Why, that's a fortune! This many spices are worth a million doubloons. Cloves, cinnamon, even nutmeg. Are you sure that our ships will be able to uh, carry that much weight? No idea. Sir Elcano. Are they your family? Mm-hmm. You should be on your way. The Portuguese government considers the Maluku Islands theirs, and they could be arriving at any moment. We're going to have to start loading those ships faster. I think we should listen to Mr. Elcano. Get moving. Let's load up the ships. What route will we follow? Would it be wise to sail back the same way we came? That route is way too long to sail again. But what do you propose? I think we should keep heading west. <laughs> now we're aware that the Earth is round. I'm sure we'll make it back home faster. I won't be much help this time around. I'm unfamiliar with the waters that'll take you to Europe. The Spaniards are crazy. Always going west with no map. <laughs> They're all insane. Spice Islands ahead. Punto Bay. Tomorrow at sunrise, we'll be in port. 